How to Celebrate Father's Day Father's Day has been celebrated for over 100 years. It's also an event celebrated in many countries around the world, although at different times of the year. In North America and the United Kingdom, Father's Day is celebrated on the third Sunday in June. Make this Father's Day the best by giving your dad a day that shows him just how special he is to you. Even if you're stuck at home because of the coronavirus, you can still have a special day with your dad with a little planning. Method 1. Having a safe Father's Day during COVID-19 One. Video chat with your dad if you don't live with him. Thanks to modern technology, you can still see your dad on Father's Day even if you can't visit in person. Invite him to join you for a face-to-face -face chat over Zoom, Skype, or FaceTime. Plan ahead with your dad so he can download the right video chat software onto his phone, computer, or tablet if he hasn't already. If he's not very tech-savvy, give him a call ahead of time so you can talk him through it. Some video chat programs, like Zoom, let you set your digital background. Surprise him by uploading a Father's Day themed background. Or, you could make a real banner or sign and hang it on the wall behind you, so it's visible on camera. 2. Order takeout from his favorite restaurant to enjoy a nice meal. If you can't take dad out to his favorite restaurant, bring their food to him. Order a delicious brunch, lunch, or dinner and have it delivered right to your door. If you enjoy cooking, you can also create your own Father's Day feast. Set the table nicely and bring it out to him to create a restaurant experience at home. Even if you're not living with your dad, you could still order a meal and have it sent to him. Video chat with him while you're both eating to share a virtual meal. 3. Visit a park or go hiking if he loves the outdoors. If your dad is feeling cooped up, go with him to a local park or hit a nearby hiking or biking trail. You could even get together with some of his friends for an outdoor walk, as long as you all maintain a safe distance from each other. If you're planning to be around other people during your outing, stay at least 6 feet, 1.8 m, apart. Avoid crowded parks or hiking trails where it will be hard to maintain a safe distance. Don't forget to bring supplies for your outing, like snacks, water bottles, and hand sanitizer. 4. Treat him to a virtual tour or concert so he can explore from home. If your dad feels safer staying at home, you can still give him a virtual adventure for Father's Day. Go with him on a virtual tour of a museum or national park, or view a live stream of a concert together. You can explore several national parks and museums online using the Google Arts and Culture app or website. For example, you can take your dad on a virtual 3D walk through the Grand Canyon or Yosemite National Park on the National Park Service page. If your dad loves animals, check if his favorite zoo or aquarium is offering online tours. To find out about streaming concerts and other performances, check out this list maintained by NPR, HTTPS www.npr.org slash 2020 slash 03 slash 17 slash 81650405 slash a hyphen list hyphen of hyphen live hyphen virtual hyphen concerts hyphen to hyphen watch hyphen during hyphen the hyphen coronavirus hyphen shutdown. 5. Sign him up for an online class if he enjoys learning new things. If your dad loves tinkering with hobbies and picking up new skills, an online class can be a great Father's Day gift especially while he's stuck at home because of the coronavirus. Find an online class dedicated to his favorite topic or hobby or pick something completely new that the two of you can learn together. For example, if your dad loves experimenting in the kitchen, you could sign him up for an online baking class. Or, if he's more of an artistic type, look for a painting or sculpture course. If you'd rather let him pick out his class, you can buy him an all-access pass to a subscription-based service like Masterclass or Skillshare. 6. 
have a movie or game night if he wants a cozy family celebration. If your dad is a homebody, then having an evening at home with the family can be a great way to celebrate. Break out some fun board games or make popcorn and put on your dad's favorite movie or TV series. If you have a projector and some yard space, you can even have a special outdoor movie night. Hang up a white bed sheet or aim the projector at a blank wall outside your home, then set up some lawn chairs so you can watch a movie under the stars. 7. Camp out in the backyard for a fun and simple adventure. There are few things more special than camping out with your dad. Make a bonfire and roast marshmallows or hot dogs, and sing songs or tell scary stories together. You can also pitch a tent in the yard and get cozy in sleeping bags, or set up some hammocks and do a little stargazing. If your dad loves to grill, you can combine some backyard camping with a family barbecue. Method 2. Planning for Father's Day 1. Find out when Father's Day is. The worst thing you could do is forget or make a bunch of plans for Father's Day, only to realize that you got the wrong date. The date of Father's Day depends on what country you live in. In the US and the UK, Father's Day is always on the third Sunday in June, so the exact date will not be the same every year. If you're not sure what day Father's Day is, a quick internet search using the terms Father's Day plus the year and the country you live in should get you the answer pretty quickly. 2. Think about what makes your dad happy. How you celebrate Father's Day will largely come down to knowing what your dad likes and what will make the day most enjoyable. That can mean planning a grand adventure or simply taking care of all the chores around the house so dad can relax. Plan at least one activity to do with your dad that he will enjoy. Maybe he likes fishing or playing catch, or maybe your dad likes to play board games with the whole family. Choose something you know he'll love. Dads do a lot, from taking care of the house, picking the kids up from school or practice, to just being there to listen to your problems. Think about a time when your dad did something for you, and see how you can pay him back. It could be as simple as mowing the lawn. 3. Get others involved. If you have siblings, you could get them involved in planning something nice for your dad. Having all of his kids celebrate Father's Day with him will make it even more special. If you don't have any siblings, you could also ask your mom or grandparents to help you. For example, you guys could get together and write a song that you can sing to your dad on Father's Day, or you can make a card together. Additionally, you could assign a part of Father's Day that each sibling is responsible for. For example, you can be responsible for making him his favorite breakfast, one of your siblings can be responsible for setting up the TV with his favorite sport and preparing his favorite snacks. And another sibling could be responsible for giving him a foot rub. 4. Plan a party or an outing for your dad. If your dad isn't the gift type but enjoys nothing more than spending time together with family, then plan some type of activity where your dad gets to do something he loves. For example, if your dad loves grilling, you could get all the things needed for a backyard barbecue and invite some of his friends over to hang out on Father's Day together. If your dad likes fishing, you could plan an all-day fishing trip together for just you and him, or your whole family, if you prefer. Be sure to run the idea by your dad before you make any big plans, though. You don't want to plan a whole party only to find out he doesn't want to have one. Method 3. Celebrating with your father 1. Let him sleep in if he's not a morning person. If your dad enjoys sleeping in, but normally doesn't get to because of work and kids, let him do it today. Don't walk around making a bunch of noise that will wake him up. Let him sleep as long as he wants, and start the celebration whenever he's ready. If you're planning to bring him breakfast in bed, you can still let him sleep in for a few hours longer than usual. 2. Wish him a happy Father's Day. 
This may seem obvious, but don't forget to acknowledge that it is his day. When you see him in the morning, yell, Happy Father's Day, Dad, in a loud, happy voice. Don't forget to hug him. It's good to do this first thing in the morning. That way, your dad will know you haven't forgotten and will see that you are excited to celebrate with him. 3. Ask him what he wants to do. You may have a lot of ideas about how to celebrate Father's Day, but it isn't about you. On Father's Day, ask him how he is feeling and what he feels like doing for the day. Try to be respectful of your dad's wishes. If you had a whole list of ideas for the day, but your dad says all he wants to do is relax on the couch, then let him do it. Your dad may want to do something all on his own or with your other parent on Father's Day. For example, he might want to work on his car alone in the garage, or he might want a weekend getaway. If so, don't make him feel bad for wanting that. 4. Make the day joyful. One of the most important aspects of Father's Day is that you are present and attentive. Gifts are great, but showing your love, and reassuring your dad that you're proud of him and all he's done for you, can be the most important factor in celebrating a fantastic Father's Day. For many dads, the most rewarding part of being a father is feeling that your children and partner love and appreciate you. By simply having a good attitude, or hugging dad and telling him how much you love him, you can show him that he is appreciated. 5. Talk to your dad. This is a straightforward one, but it should not be overlooked. In your daily life, it can be easy to miss out on spending quality time together. On Father's Day, make it a point to spend time just talking about things. Tell him about some things going on in school you haven't told him, or talk to him about things that are going on in your life. Don't make it all about you. Ask your dad about how he is doing, or ask him to tell you about his life growing up. Try to avoid subjects that might cause an argument, though. You don't want Father's Day to end in a fight. 6. Make it a family event. Father's Day can be a great day for the whole family. Plan a family event, getting everyone in the family together for a fun day. Keep in mind your dad's personality, though. Is your dad the type who enjoys big family gatherings? For some people, large gatherings are very tiring, and anything but relaxing. Think about including all the dads in your family, not just your father or partner. Maybe you want to gather the uncles, brothers, grandpas, and stepdads for part of the day, like a big dinner. 7. Make a photo slideshow. Make a slideshow with lots of photos of your dad. It can be photos from when he was young, it can include photos of the whole family, photos of just you and him, and even funny photos. Looking at photos with your dad can be a great way to talk about fun memories together. If your photos are in photo albums, you can look at the albums together. This could be particularly useful if you don't have a close relationship with your dad. Looking at photos together can help spark conversations. Method 4. Showing your appreciation 1. Get or make your dad a card. A card goes a long way, and can sometimes mean more than a gift. Get him a card that fits his personality, like a funny card if he likes jokes or a sentimental one to show your dad how much he means to you. If you're buying your dad a Father's Day card, make sure that you don't wait until the last minute to get one. If you wait too long, you won't have as many options to choose from. You can also make him a card. By making him a card, you can make it truly yours and tailor it completely to your dad. In the card, you could list the things that you love about your dad, or you could draw him a picture of the two of you together. 2. Think of a creative gift. Father's Day doesn't have to be about gifts, but if you are planning to make or buy him a gift, try to get creative. 
don't just pick out a tie or a pair of socks. If you are buying him a gift, try to think of something he keeps mentioning or something you know he wants, but won't buy for himself. Handmade gifts are also great. For example, you could think about and list many different things your dad has taught you to do, example swing a baseball bat, ride a bike, treat other people respectfully, etc. Turn these things into a book. You can have the book made online or you can simply make it yourself. You can glue photos of you and your dad together into the book too. 3. Tell him that you appreciate him. Being a father is a tough job. If you're having a party, you can give a toast in front of everyone that expresses your love and appreciation. If you're not having a party, you can just tell him one on one. Try to be thoughtful with your words. Though you could just say, thanks for being a good dad, you could also take the time to think of something thoughtful to say. For example, you could think of a few things your dad has done in the past year that meant a lot to you, and say something like, Over the last year you've done a lot of things to keep me healthy and happy. I know I don't say it often enough, but I don't take it for granted, and I love you very much. I especially appreciated it when you took me to the mall on your day off so I could get that new game I'd wanted so badly. 4. Do his daily chores for him. If your dad has a list of things that he does every day, example taking out the trash, making the bed, doing the laundry, washing the dishes, etc., then tell him that on Father's Day. You want to do all of those things so he can relax. If there is a chore that you know he particularly doesn't like, example mowing the lawn, you could tell him that you are going to take care of it for him on Father's Day. 5. Make him a meal. If you know his favorite meal, plan to cook it for him on Father's Day. You could also make him his favorite dessert. For example, if he loves chocolate chip cookies, you could make some that are just for him. If your dad enjoys cooking, you could make this an activity that you do together. You could also surprise him with breakfast in bed, if you think he would enjoy it. 6. Don't put pressure on your dad. On Father's Day, you might have a million things planned for your dad. If your dad knows this, he may go along with everything just to make you happy. However, remember that it is his day, so try to remain aware of your dad's mood. If you notice that he seems tired or not really into what you're doing, ask him what he feels like doing. Don't get mad or frustrated because things aren't going the way you wanted. The last thing he wants is a fight, so remember to keep things light, happy, and pressure free. Remember that you don't have to celebrate every minute of the day with your dad. Give him some time to do whatever he feels like doing without you chasing him around. Tips Take photos of Father's Day. Having pictures will help you remember the day and you can also use them as part of next year's gift. Don't be afraid to show your dad how much you care. Although in Western society, men don't tend to show their emotions as much as women, your dad has feelings too. Showing him that he is important and appreciated will make him feel happy. You don't have to fill the entire day full of activities. Having one or two ways to show your dad you appreciate him is a good idea, but packing a day full of things may not be relaxing or enjoyable for your dad.